It's Talk Funny, a podcast by Mark Bailey and other comics from all over. We ended up in Japan because we taught this city. We financed with property taxes this city, but we cannot vote in this city. The Talk Funny podcast from NagoyaRadio.com and Nagoya Comedy. Here's Mark Bailey. Mark Bailey, Mike Miller on Talk Funny. Mike was asking me some of our feedback, and I didn't mention it. We do get some emails that go, love the show. Try to catch it every time. Sometimes, you know, we had a gap. So what happened? Things like that. But you only remember the bad ones, <laughs> yes, right? Yes, of course. Seven, eight good ones. One complaint. Somebody, I think in Florida, said, I don't know how old this person is. It said, enjoy the podcast. I'm wondering why you only talk about what you guys want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mike, how much are you getting paid? You didn't even get paid one beer today. I offered I offered to buy you a beer. You said, I'll get my own. Yeah. You're paying money for our Nagoya Comedy It's true. Domain. Thanks for reminding me. I have to renew it. I'm paying money to get this account that we have that we do podcasts. So why do we talk about only what we want to talk about? I don't know. What, did, they, did they give any suggestions? I'm sorry. I didn't see your name on the Patreon. <laughs> Yeah. You know, if a Patreon writes, a Patreon oh, yeah. member, yeah. We'll do it. I, I've already, it says on the page, yeah. you want us to talk about something, you want us, we will custom write a joke for you. Yeah. And do it on stage, record it, send to you mm-hmm. on Patreon. We have one guy, right, on Patreon right now? Yeah, one guy. <laughs> one we guy. love him, and he doesn't want to be named. Yes, so no, we're not going to name him. It's, but, kind, yeah. it's kind of like saying, uh, it's, it's a nice Canadian gentleman, <laughs> but it's kind of like saying, I'm your mom, and I go, so Mike, I love you, but in public, just call me Barbara. <laughs> don't call me mom in public. I- I'll pay your Patreon, just don't name me. Big fan, big fan. <laughs> so this email said, why do you guys only talk about what you want to talk about? They said, well, did you hear the parts where we said you can email us, and if you want to hear topics, and did you see the Patreon, which I don't think you've joined, where the Patreon says we will talk about topics, we will do jokes, we will custom write jokes for you, and do them on stage. And we've said a few times on the podcast, anything you want to hear about. So, I'm sorry, I didn't get an email. Like, what do you want us to talk about? That's the weirdest email. It's not really a not really a hate mail, per se. It's kind of just like a strange comment. So, I wrote back and I said, so I should write about what you want to talk about when I have no idea what that is. <laughs> when you're not talking about it. And I'm paying for it. So, on a podcast platform that I'm paying for, yeah, I have to talk about... <laughs> Some unknown thing that you want me Florida. to talk about that you hadn't told me. You know. Should I guess? <laughs> I do that in a class sometimes, you know. You'll get passive aggressive students. <laughs> you can always tell a Japanese student, but you can't tell them much. Oh. No, there you go. No, but I'll ask them. They'll say, I'm from Bukachakiwala, and I've never heard of that city, whatever mm. it is. I know Gifu, I know Ongaki, I know a lot of cities. Mm-hmm. I say, well, where is that? You don't know? Mm-hmm. Oh, I know. I just want to know if you know how to get home. <laughs> No, I ask a question I don't know the answer to. And then they'll say, well, you don't know where it is? And I said, should I guess? <laughs> Bigger than a bread box, smaller than a biscuit? I don't... Is it near Nagoya? They're like, you don't know? You don't know where it is? Really? Like, you know what? I don't care where it is. I don't care. But I'll ask that's them, you the... know... <laughs> oh, that's the bells are in you coming out. <laughs> what did you do on the weekend? I did something. Yeah, I assume that. <laughs> did you go shopping? No. Did you go skiing? No. Did you go swimming? No. Should I guess? Do you have any questions? <laughs> Am I doing crowd work now? <laughs> we got 90 minutes but and only be- three students. <laughs> I could do this all day. Are you two together? You're <laughs> sitting at the same table. Oh, look. You know, they- Are you getting tired of this now? Because I've been tired of it. I said, so I asked you a question, like, should I guess? Oh, they told me they ate some dish, and I had never heard of it. It turned out it was a Korean dish. I can't remember the name of it. But they couldn't even tell me it was a Korean dish. Really? So something like, Bapapapakdi, Bapapapakdi. So what is that? <laughs> so it's food, though, right? We've established it's food. It was in a restaurant. What kind of a restaurant? Maybe that would help me. Was it a Japanese restaurant? No, it wasn't. Was it an Italian restaurant? No. Was it a Greek restaurant? No. Was it a Martian restaurant? Did they have did they have Johnny soup, gravel soup? Did they have metan salada? You'd have to eat that really quickly, metan salada. I made these up. I made these up. But so it's just twenty thousand questions. It's in this conversation class. It's not police interrogation. Yeah, exactly. So, so you don't want to actually talk about this, do you? Some students really think. Yeah, they really think that, and they really like. I say they they can't like for the they're practicing for the 
there's this big exam in Japan called the Aiken test, which is like, uh, it's kind of like, um, what would it be, TOEIC, the Japanese version of TOEIC, and they yeah. do an interview thing. And the kids, did, you ask them a question to express their opinion or talk about their day or something, and they kind of freeze up, and they're like, what did I do? What did I do? And I just tell them, you don't have to tell the truth. It's a language yeah, test. Tell them, it's not lie. an interrogation. It interesting. Lie, yeah. Lie about your life. Yeah. I'd be interested for once. <laughs> You know, you can. You can get away with it. Well, I banged this hooker in Gifu, (laughs) and I left her for dead. And Okay, I'm listening. This is great. What What colors was she wearing? (laughs) Your English is, you're doing great. You're learning to tell stories. How did you dispose of the body? There's a reading book that I mandated to teach, and it's all in English. And the first part of it, I don't want to get sued, say the name of the book, but it's really not good for Japanese students Mm -hmm. who, how do I put this politely? Having a vivid imagination is like not in the top 100 mm. of their skills. Mm-hmm. It's this meta kind of reading program. So it says, before you read the article, the article is called, I Didn't Get Enough Sleep. Mm-hmm. Before you read it, Mike, mm-hmm. what do you think this article is about? Oh God, I, I don't know. So much. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't read it yet. I don't know. I don't know. But just guess. <laughs> if I guess, I could be wrong. That's true. Well, well I'm not going to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, but I mean... Look at the title. Uh-huh. Sleep. Sleep is in the title. What do you... I'll say it again. I couldn't get much... Sleep! <laughs> what do you think the... So, Kenji, what do you think the article is about? I have no idea. I know that, but could you... I know you have no ideas. I have... My wife would always say, I have no ideas. Yeah. My... I know that. <laughs> you also don't have a clue. No, but seriously, you do that for 30 minutes and nobody's going to go, oh, maybe reading, right? it's about sleep? Yeah. Pre-reading. Uh, the, the 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 biggest the biggest fudge that they do in the in the textbooks is they always have discuss. Yeah. Discuss the current state of politics Good luck in the, with that. on the Korean Peninsula in Go English. Ahead. You know? Two seconds. All right. Next. Yeah. Discuss. If they could do that, <laughs> they, they wouldn't, wouldn't be in my class. Exactly. There's no point. So, oh. Mike, you've dabbled a little bit in Portuguese. Uh-huh. A little bit. A little bit. A little Tiny. bit. A little bit. All right. So, discuss the difference between the beliefs and tradition between continental Portuguese <laughs> and Brazilian Portuguese. Do that in Portuguese. Go ahead. All right, next task. <laughs> you know, it'll be like, okay, so I always skip that. At the end it says, did your prediction about what the article would be come true? No. Because you can't get predictions from Japanese. And I also learned I would do this thing where I would try to get interesting stories mm-hmm. from Japanese. And I learned to not say tell me an interesting story because mm. now they have to guarantee that it's mm-hmm. interesting to me. Mm-hmm. No, I'll be the judge if it's interesting. Mm-hmm. And I learned, don't say that. Tell me a fun story. Nope, I don't have one. Mm-hmm. Tell me a funny story. I don't have one of those. Mm-hmm. Tell me a time when you were embarrassed or worried. Mm-hmm. That's gold. That's oh, funny. You'll okay. get funny stuff. Okay. They say, well, I bought a seaweed rice ball for my grandmother, but she actually wanted the tuna rice ball and she told me, but I forgot. Turns out she hates seaweed. Oh. And I brought her home. And she ate it and said, it's delicious. But I know she hated it. And I said, that's good. That's Very better. good. That's better. And she goes, and then I cried all night in my bed because I disgraced my grandmother. Oh, poor, poor girl. <laughs> Jeez. No, but Schadenfreude. Yeah. That's a good one. Good one, Eddie. That's good. You broke your grandmother's heart. That's a funny story. Now, if I asked for a funny story, you would have never thought of that. That's true. That's true. Because you, you're asking them in a way to try and perform, and they're they're yeah. like you said they, they freeze up. They don't want to. They don't want to not be funny. So. What's like I kind of guess that you don't go around telling nobody. Tim does, but I I think you don't go around telling nobody. Yeah, I do comedy shows because no. they're gonna go, especially at like immigration or something. Gonna say like tell me a joke. Yes. Well, it's not gonna work. No matter. No. I could tell you uh, George Carlin's seven words you can't say on radio, yep. and you're not gonna no. laugh. They. They cross their arms yeah. first. It's like first, saying, first is across the arms, and then it's like, tell me something funny. Yeah, and it's like it's like one of those game shows where you have to make the person laugh, you yeah. know, kind of thing, and it just never works. It's like a bodybuilder or somebody crossing their arms, going, "Try to tickle me." Yeah, you're not gonna make me laugh. Yeah, you know, I could only make you laugh if you didn't suspect I had a joke coming, right? Yes, yes, it has to be kind of unexpected in a way. Like, yeah, Timmy does that all the time. I'm like, Timmy, just stop doing that because he never gets laughs and it's painful. And I'm just like, your jokes are not that bad. It's just that, like you said, it's the the context is wrong. You tell it outside of a comedy show and, and people just, you know, they don't get it. Or, like you said, you're not surprising them. You're saying, here comes a joke, and they yeah. just sit there like... 
Oh. Well, one reason I hide the mic when we go to clubs, before the show, I keep the mic in my pocket because a certain comedian will get up there and test his jokes out yeah. before he's going to do them in yeah. front of the same audience. Yeah. It's, it's not, not going to work. No, it's not it's like idea. Even we try to avoid, before podcasts, telling each other jokes or topics. I try not to get into it much. Because mm-hmm. the second time around, it's like, well, you know what I'm going to say. Yeah. I know what you're going to say. But the audience didn't hear the effervescence from the first right. time when you pop the cork yes. of the topic that's interesting then it becomes second like time Monsai. second time is swell yeah yeah speaking of swell we'll be back with another show talk funny mark bailey mike miller